Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for CSAN 3 episode 2 of Young Royals. Title of the episode is episode 2 as always. And you might see a different a change. I'm trying something new because my current chair is killing me. It's killing my back. And I said, you know what, I'm going to try before I commit to buying a new couch. I used to have a couch before as well. If you have been long... Uh, hearing my patron, you know that I had, I used to have a, 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 a couch, um, and then I switched to the chair, um, but it's hella uncomfortable now, and like, I, I, I thought it was a good idea, so I brought this chair for my living room, and I, I'm trying just to see if it works, um, if it doesn't, I'll return to my chair and look for another option, We'll see. Uh, I kind of have moved things around. Everything looks like a mess. My background, I am not loving it. I'm going to rearrange my Funkos and everything uh, for it to look better. Uh, but, you know, I want to try to see how I feel while I react uh, to something. Uh, so this is my first try in this. It's not a new setup. It's just a different chair that I'm sitting in. Uh, so, yeah. Different position of the camera as well. The camera is not to my side like it used to be there. Now it's in front of me and the, the show is also in front of me. So let's see how that uh, works out. And yeah, uh, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to watch uh, this new episode and to continue enjoying, you know, season three, which I'm only at the beginning. I know, but um, I bet this season is going to be great. It's the last season of the show as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys don't. I also, I hope you don't mind that I am sitting here. I, I don't think why. I don't. I, there's no reason why you will get mad at that. But still, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, yeah, we're gonna watch episode two. I hope you like it. I hope you guys continue supporting for more because I will be doing more reaction videos. You know, the entire third season of Young Young Royals. So. Stay tuned for that. Thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Anka Reaction is always posted first on Patreon. In case you guys want to check that out, link is on the description down below. Um, by the time I'm posting this on YouTube, I'm probably like one or two episodes ahead. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, too far ahead, but maybe one or two episodes ahead. So in, in case you guys want to check that out. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do episode two right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. And that's it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season three. Episode 2 of Young Royals. Here we go. Aww. Oh, they're on the phone. Uh, are we all doing that? Oh. Can you leave them alone? They were about to have phone sex. What the hell? <laughs> Seven stuck sick! Oh my god! So because you don't want to watch it. I three years, we have fought to get out of this situation. Oh boohoo, poor you guys. I three years, over that man skoyar. På en inbyggning. You joke around, okay? Är det på okay. riktigt här inne som har blivit? Kronprinsen, <coughs> ni har besök. I feel like some secrets from his brother are gonna come out. Var tvungen att berätta för hela världen att han huckar med någon jävla snubbla. Fan, skärp till huset. Tänk om skolan behöver stängas ner. Alla vi kommer behöva byta skolor. Alltså, vi visar både Skolinspektionen och media vår bild av hur skolan är, på riktigt. Då kanske det lugnar ner sig. Kanske vi till och med får tillbaka vår student. Honestly, you are more worried about that than the school shutting down. Yeah. Fuck you! He's driving a bus? He's on a bus! He's on a bus! How is he driving going nuts for attention? <laughs> of course not, babe, of course not. No. I love seeing them so cute, you know? Oh, Felice, by the way. Felice. Och jag vill att du ska veta att jag är så glad att de har valt just dig att prata med. Och så är det såklart fint att belysa att det här inte är någon homogen plats. Här har vi mångfald på alla sätt. So you're doing it because she is a person of color. This bitch. Så, det blir övernattning, grillning och ha någon en gitarr. Ta gärna med den. All right. Chop, chop, kom igen. 
That's good. Så... They do they should be allowed to do ja. that. Jag var med och, och ta hand om de hästarna som far illa i så fall. Och då är ju körkortet ett första bra steg. Har du övningskört något? Lite. Helt rätt. Okej, okay, that's basic. Så innan du startar och kör iväg bilen så måste du... Trycka ner kopplingen. Flytta över foten från bromsen till gat. Okej, okay, you know everything. Då kör du då. And she's driving a stick. She's driving a stick. I drive an automatic, automatic car. And I still have props. I think that today, Gori has got in a new car member. Forgive me that I'm late. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Felice also laughs because, like, the only reason he's there is for for Simon. I think that you like to sing. I like to sing. No. Jag tror att det var därför jag inte vågade liksom säga något. Du, vi satte ändå stopp för det. Vi höll vad vi lovade. Vi gjorde inte samma sak mot våra äter. Så, någonting var dumt till honom. Jag vet inte, alltså jag... Honestly, the school and the kids could say that they will held on on traditions, but not the violent bullied ones, you know? Hallå? Say something, you're about to traumatize her. Hello. Yeah, that did not help. Bro, ta någon slags makt för att du är min reserv, men då har du inte. Tar du det då? Ja. August, min familj äger det. Jag jobbar inte för dig. Du är inte kung än. Oh, yeah. See? This is what I didn't want to happen. God damn it, guys! Oh, for fuck's sakes! Not the bar, not enough. Without even trying, he came out with an entire song. You are a king. He marries a king. Is he a king too? <laughs> like the bad thing is that. Sometimes you will get the good comments, but also then you're gonna get the hate, the hateful ones, you know? Thanks, you. What do you mean? He's just... He's expressing himself! What the fuck? Oh my god. Come on, you love that he sings. Video. Som du har lagt up. Yeah. Den är jätte, jätte fin. Men... Men vad? Mm. Jag... Vill bara inte att du ska få massa skit för det. Nej, jag lägger ut vad jag vill, eller? Ja, det är klart att du får, men... Apparently not, apparently not. Jag vill bara inte att du ska liksom... Allt du gör nu... Representerar mig och kungahuset och det suger, jag vet det, men... Jag vill bara att vi ska kunna ha ett privat liv. Så so he can sing. Jag inte att du lägger ut sånt här på sociala medier. So he's not okay. allowed to post anything. I love you. I have to lay on. Okay. Mama, come on. I love you too. Post. Are you gonna delete it? You have got a letter from Hilders about that you lost your place and you won't come back next week. And then Mama wants you to move home again. I know. And you can say that I slept here at night. Jag menar bara att det Racism. är inte alltid jättelätt att vara den enda svarta tjejen med lockigt hår i vår klass. But it's so easy for you, right? Det är med tjejer och killar med killar. Men hallå, vi, vi fyra. Ja. Gay får man zooma över andra men inte om man är straight, eller va? Åh, oh, vilken... Nej men jag bara, alltså i teori... Nej, men... <laughs> What about the non-binary ones? Jag lottar ut! Nej, 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 I love this! I love that! Hej! Hej! Är det så här ni kampar? Ja, vi ska ha rave. Rave? Mm. Alltså, så varför dansar ingen då? <laughs> oh hi, hello. Oh, okay. Oh, they're peeing. <laughs> and where's that? In New York. 
Jag har läst i USA. Nej. <laughs> Nej. No, alltså, honey. There are people who don't fly every weekend. Jag ska också sommarjobba. Som ni. Ja, kul. Eller jag ska um, gå en hela sommaren genom hovet. Det, det kommer nog också bli så intensivt. liksom. Okej. Okay. Det var typ inte rätt tillfälle för alla att ses. Nej, okej, okay, det kanske var lite stelt, men nästa gång så... Ville, du kan inte bara säga att du också ska sommarjobba. What? Du ska på prinsskola, det är inte samma sak. Are you getting mad about that? Ni får allt gratis, uh. ni får kläder, ni får resor, du får, du får vad du vill. Du kan inte prata om att välja och... Oh, oh. oh. did you just... Oh. Shit. Det låter som att vi brokar. Well, are you? Rädda ni är ibland. Ja, yeah, sometimes it goes over his hand. Rosha och Jub, de har koll på hur mycket pengar du har fått från August, eller? No oh, shit. Oh shit, things got awkward. Hallå? Hej, det är pappa. Ja, jag... Dålig form. Det här året efter Erik och Men... allt som har hänt efter det. Är det mitt fel? No. Nej, nej, nej. It's no one's fault, it's just the pressure. Väldigt, väldigt ledsen. Vi får bara hoppas att det börjar gå åt rätt håll snart. För det här är såklart inget som får komma ut. Och det betyder att du behöver vara stark när du är redo. Damn. Okay guys, so that was the end of season 3, episode 2 of Young Royals. And... Okay. It was... It was a good episode. It was a very good episode. I, I kind of like the more mature type of subjects that they are talking you know um and i also like the fact that they are really you know looking into the differences between you know the social status that some of them might have and also about the fact that uh how the people of color are being treated, how the queer people are treated, the whole thing with the initiations and all of that, you know, it kind of has brought up a lot of really good points, things that should have not happened. So I'm kind of glad that that we are, we're, we're getting to see that because it is not, it's not fair at all what is being happening so there's this rumor out there about the fact that uh porn was involved with the initiations you know it was involved with um with doing that and apparently it happened up until the point where uh when august and his classmates uh got there right not apparently not everyone it looks like not vincent but august and the other kid i don't remember his name he's also queer um it happened to him uh and maybe to august as well um and the thing is that i feel that this whole pedestal that Willem and even August put uh, Eric in, you know, it might turn out to not be so much of like he was perfect all the time because no one is perfect. You know, that's the thing. No one is perfect. And so... I feel that with these stories coming out, we might find out some things about Eric that not necessarily, I hope, not necessarily makes him a terrible person, but it makes him human, which, you know, at the end of the day, it is, it is what it is. He might have been the crown prince. He might have been able to pretend that he was the perfect kid, but there were things that maybe he hid from everyone, you know? So, and I feel like that's going to come out. Um, so yeah, you have that. Then you have, you know, the whole thing with Sarah not coming back to school. She already knows how to drive. 
Um, her like maybe trying to look for a job and all that. Um, and like I said, the, the, the main thing, the main point is the differences between uh, the the people with money, the people without money, and the people with money, but there are people of color. Because Feliz is the only one who gets asked to put her hair on a bun, you know, on a ponytail or whatever, or to tie her hair back, um, because it doesn't look presentable since she has curly hair, and the other girls do not, because they're white, you know? So... That's something that the girls, it just went past them, honestly, because they are pr very privileged, you know? You know, Felice is very privileged because she has, you know, a lot of money, and because of that, they are going to treat her a little bit better. But then there is these microaggressions that happen, you know, these things that only happen to her because she is uh, from a different, you know, it, she looks different. Um, and the, the friends, you know, for them, it, you know, goes out of their hair. Like, they were like, oh my god, how will I know that she has never gone to New York? Bitch, what? Like, you have to understand that the world is not just people who have money, who can travel everywhere and anywhere, anytime and every day that they want. And it's so, like, this kid, some of them are so detached from reality uh, that is honestly sad to see. And it's honestly annoying as well. You know, because, like, they were like, oh my god. Like, and I was like, I wanted to choke her, honestly. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know? Oh, man. But it was, it was, it was... I wanted to choke her, like I said. <laughs> oh my god. Um, But yeah. Yeah. That happened. Um, honestly, honestly, for me, the, the, the solution, the real solution for this problem that they, that the school is facing, that the kids are facing is for them to sit down and to say, not necessarily to the public, but within them to say, we fucked up this type of initiations, you know, if they happened, they need to stop. If they did not happen then they will never happen, you know? And the teachers to embrace the fact that they are young kids, that they're le learning, that they are going to make mistakes, but that every generation is supposed to be better than the one before, you know? So I think, in, in my opinion, it will be good to say, yes, we fucked up. Yes, fucked up things happen. But now we're going to hold on to the traditions that are actually just good. And have fun and, and makes us, you know, integrate with one another. It makes us, you know, uh, be, you know, brothers and sisters and whatever, you know. And, and, and like, because that union and that celebration and that is good. With the traditions, you know, yeah, you have the initiation, but you don't have to, you know, drink spit. You know what I mean? You don't have to be like all the things that they do to them. Yes, they can have their party. No drugs, no alcohol if you're not over, you know, the legal age, you know. Um, and have a good time, have a deep... And, and be something that even the academic side know of, knows of. But there's someone in charge that can, you know, get things, you know, set, uh, set for them in the way that they want. Not necessarily with supervision, but with the clear idea that none of that is going to happen again, you know? Um, but to ask them, the elite, to say that they made a mistake is asking sometimes too much of them, you know, because they don't believe they do things wrong. So it might be diff it might be difficult to be honest. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I honestly, I, I, I can't relate to like August or Felicia's friends or even, you know, Felicia, because I have grown up without money. I, I don't, my dad, my mom never bought, bought me a horse. I wanted, you know, I remember like my entire high school, my five years of high school, I asked my mom 
to buy me a fucking guitar. And she never did, you know, because some other things were more important. And granted, at the time, we did not have the money, but they weren't that expensive. <laughs> and I begged my mom time and time again, but that's the one thing I never got, you know. Um, and these kids have everything at their disposal. So I also understand Simon, you know, Simon, uh, about the things that he was saying about, like, don't talk about, like, your job, like, it's, like, because it's a given for you. You're going to print school, you know? But honestly, their lives are different. The things that they put their energy, not just because he is going to go to this study thing, you know, um, to become a king. It's less important than Simon, you know, having to work because he has to pay bills and things like that. <coughs> Willen didn't ask to be born in the family that he was born, you know. Uh, <coughs> so it is different for both of them. And I think that for them to recognize the differences and understand those differences, it's a lot more healthy than just to be at each other's throats with what they do and what they don't do. I understand there's a lot of pressure also for the couple, you know. There's a lot of pressure. And I feel like it's getting to them, you know, like the fact that Simon is a singer, you know, he writes, this This might not be the first time that he has wrote a song and has posted it online, but now everyone is expecting him to do something so they can, you know, judge him and be like, oh, and how it reflects to the royal family. And for someone that might not be, you know, uh, uh, familiar with that, it's horrible to have to have to say is this okay to post is this not okay what purpose does it serve sometimes he just wants to make a post you know uh but now he can't and it's annoying you know um but also like disregarding what willem is going to do is kind of like also bad because he is going to do something that he believes in as well and I mean, they should be just supporting one another. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, August and Willen got into a fight. And now they're going to have to work together in therapy, I guess. So, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah. Um, this episode was good. It was, you know, it, it's moving the story into a very, you know, a more mature type of discussion. And I like it. I, uh, I like that a lot. So, I'm excited for the next episode. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Thumbs up if you love Young Royal. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reactions always posted first on Patreon in case you guys want to check it out. Link in the description down below. Maybe next episode I'm back into my regular chair because I haven't figured out the way to do this. Um, I also was thinking of buying like a like a tripod for this, but it, like I just feel like it's going to be a lot more distracting. So I might not do that. I'm just going to keep this thing. But I also, you know, want to buy this. Um, I want to buy a really good chair for my back. So let me know if if it was annoying to watch me doing the reaction like this. Was it annoying? Was it weird? I used to do it like this before. My couch was on that other corner uh, looking there, as it always is. And yeah. My Winona herb reactions, if you want to have a look at that. I used to be, I used to have that couch, but it, it, it started to like getting old and all that. So yeah. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys continue to learn for more. Thumbs up if you love Young Royals. Hearts if you love, if you're watching on Patreon, I mean. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reactions always posted first on Patreon. In case you guys want to check it out, link in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. And for now, that's it. You guys are amazing. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Young Royals. That's it. <laughs> that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.